So one of the questions I've been asked recently about Microsoft Excel is how do you limit access to allow users to only edit certain cells in a, in a spreadsheet and lock other cells down. So I'm going to go through how I find uh, it to be easiest to just allow users to edit only certain ranges of, of cells in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So once you have that spreadsheet pulled up, uh, you have certain cells that you want to be able to be edited and other ones locked down. And in this case, you can see that I have have them uh, shaded slightly differently, so it's obvious which ones you'd be able to edit. And what you want to do is go ahead and select those cells that you want. And using control, your control button, um, you can select all those different cells that you'd want people to be able to edit within this particular spreadsheet. From there you go up to your review tab and one of the groups here is the changes group and this is where you're going to be able to do exactly what we had talked about which is allowing users to only edit certain ranges of the spreadsheet that you're working on. And if you click on that what you'll see is all those cells that you've highlighted are, are here. It has the range 1 and it refers to those cells that you've highlighted that you're going to allow people to be able to access and to change. You'll take a look at that. If that's correct, hit Protect Sheet, and it'll ask you for a password. You can certainly, there's a lot what you can allow other users to do, but the default should allow you to do what we've talked about, which is allowing users just to edit that particular range of cells. Put your password in. It's going to ask you to confirm. It wants to make sure you put the same one in twice because there's no way to unlock it if you don't remember the password. So it's very important whenever you password protect an Excel spreadsheet that you know what the password is. You have a good idea of what that is so that it uh, you don't end up locked out of the spreadsheet yourself. Click OK. And once you've done that, you can see this is grayed out, allowing users to edit ranges because you've already used that. The sheet is now protected, so you'd have to unprotect it to in order to make other changes but what it will now allow you to do is send this out and someone can put in their own changes within the spreadsheet and and operate the spreadsheet uh, just as it was intended uh, putting changes in where they're allowed to make changes what you will see is that if they try to make a change elsewhere where maybe you have a formula then that will be protected they'll get a, an error message um, letting them know that they cannot protect that that portion of it is read only and that is the easiest way I know of to allow users, other users, to edit only certain cells, only certain ranges of cells within Microsoft Excel.